Hey guys, welcome to The Gunshot with me, John. Today we're going to be looking at this, the Beretta 1301 Comp. start with the back you have a 1301 stock comes really very short however it comes with two spacers and fits the Breta interchangeable pad system so you can obviously make it a lot longer the reason for it being short a lot easier to mount for what it's for which is a practical shotgun or three gun shotgun however today I'm going to be looking at this more from a hunting and pest control perspective because actually a lot of the features that make it particularly good for practical also make it particularly good for pest control so the grip quite swept grab back a significant amount of very sharp checkering. I'd personally, if it was mine, I'd probably just take a little bit of sort of 600 grit and just wipe it over the top because it is very sharp. Not that there's an issue there, but I just want to accelerate the wearing in period. You have standard Beretta shim, so you can obviously change this stock to make it fit you quite nicely. Moving on, single trigger, very sensible, very simple. And after here is where it becomes much more comp. So they have a huge amount of oversized bits on this gun to make it cycle easier, feed easier, and load easier. Starting with this, oversized safety. The safety catch is much larger than a standard Beretta safety catch. Easy to find, nice, easy to operate. Good, great for wearing gloves, and from a hunting perspective, real easy to find, nice and quick to turn on and off. An oversized charging handle, it's gonna make cold hands a lot easier to charge that with, and in a pinch, a lot easier to get a hold of than your standard short handle. Oversized loading port, gonna make loading a lot faster. Obviously it's designed for dual or quad loading. However, even just single loading is gonna make it a lot easier. The only thing they haven't put oversized is the little lock back button here, which I suppose doesn't really make much of a difference, but surprised me they didn't make it a little bigger. Oversized bolt release. That's really nice. It's a thing that a lot of people put on their guns anyway, just cause it makes life a lot easier. And an oversized ejection port. So you should get easier cycling as time goes on. You have a stepped up rib to make your sighting plane that little bit less fussy than a standard, a mid bead and a front bead and a 24 inch barrel. This actually cuts a lot of weight out the front by comparison to a standard semi-automatic, although it's obviously still front heavy because it's a semi-automatic. It comes as a five plus one as standard. However, optional extension tube comes out to exactly the same 24 inch length this is an Optima barrel, by the way, so this takes your standard Optima chokes. You can put extended chokes, aftermarket chokes, internal chokes in there, as you will. And stepping back quickly, it has all the standard Beretta features, including the B-Link system, the B-Link system of super fast cycling. I would take it apart, however, I don't really wanna to have to put this spring back in because I've just put it together. So the fore end is, made, is very similar to the stock in terms of not exotic plastic. However, I should note there is a lot of nice lines that are run through this gun. It is nicely put together, but the plastic doesn't feel particularly nice. However, rubberized plastic wouldn't be particularly practical or as durable as this. It's not bad quality plastic, it just doesn't feel particularly nice. The checkering again is really sharp on the forend and I would probably just take something to that just to take it off, just to make it a nicer feeling gun out when you're not wearing gloves anyway. Reliability on all these Berettas is absolutely fantastic. As long as you do a wearing in procedure, and that's much the same for most semi-automatics, you need to wax some real heavy stuff through it just to let it break in. Most of the time, if you're putting sensible loads through here, this you don't actually need to do that. However, if you want that soup, that consistency of a slightly older gun, much earlier, you obviously need to start putting heavy loads through it much sooner. From a competition standpoint, it is an extremely fast gun. The B-Link system is immense. Once it's worn in and broken in with the right shells, you can have no problem firing sort of six shells a second if you really wanted to, probably plus. The cycle time and lock time where it's only a three inch chamber and it's gas operated is immensely fast. Not that anyone can fire quite that fast with the accuracy you might need. So how does this weigh up against other guns in the price point? Well, the fact you can pick one of these up for around a thousand pounds actually makes it really good value for money. It puts it up against stuff like a M1 Super 90 or an M2 Essential, that kind of thing. And with all of these bits on it, that does represent great value for money. I'd probably buy a M2 or a Benelli over this for the drop of pest control, but 
I'm not really a gun cleaning person when it comes to my working guns. If you look after one of these, it will look after you significantly better. It's faster than Benelli. It's probably cycles easier than Benelli. It operates easier than a Benelli, but you do have to look after it. And with this extension on, and not the little internal bit, you, that's actually a faff. I would get really annoyed and put the long spring in, so I'd probably keep it five plus one for pest control purposes, apart from the fact that it does look nice and the practical application of having all this extra magazine capacity is quite good. Things I really like about it is that actually the step up rib. That extra quick target acquisition gives you a much smarter sighting plane than a standard semi-automatic. I really do like it. Overall, I think this gun has a huge amount of features for the price point, and that really can't be ignored. You have the reliability and the speed of a standard Beretta action, but with all of the little bits that you're probably gonna bolt on anyway if you're shooting practical, and little bits that you're just gonna find really handy if you're doing pest control. I really like it. I would have liked it with a slightly longer stock if it was purely for the pest control application, but you know, that's not really what it's for. Guys, take care, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.